Hello YouTube, welcome back over to Gaming House, and we are going to go through the Witcher trophies, because I've been playing Witcher a lot, and I've been dragging my heels on finishing it, but I just finished all the contracts. This is the video for most of the contract heads you can get in the game. Uh, I say most because, given options, I saved some. Right now we're going through all the, what I deem the bag trophies. This is on Xbox One, I'm not sure if on PC and all that. If it's different... But with these, these trophies that I'm going through right now, these ones all come in a bag form, as you see there. It's either a bloody bag or a non-bloody bag. Yeah, I had to chose another one at random there. Yep, that one's got blood on it. And then one more. And that one's also bloody. So these are all the bag ones. You got the Night Wraith, the Grave Hag, the Noon Wraith, the Succubus, Necker Warrior, Water Hag, the Earth Elemental, Wraith, the Acaris, which is an insect one. I have Foglet, Noon Wraith, Wild Hunt, then Griffin, which is that's not a bag one. That's for later. Yeah, I missed one right here. The uh, I'm not even going to pronounce that, but that's another bag one. And then here we're going to get into the hybrid trophies, as I would call them, because they're in the hybrid class, which consists of Griffin right here. You get two Griffin trophies, an Arch Griffin, and a Cockatrice. But here's the Griffin. This is going to be the first trophy you're ever going to get in the game. Yeah, he's dead. Trees. Which I think is funny. I don't remember if the cockatrice is actually hybrid, if it's controlled by the dragons. I don't remember. Get a nice close up here. And then the last one's the arch griffin, but the arch griffin looks just like the regular griffins, unfortunately. Which is a shame because the arch griffin I killed was definitely baller status, like black and red. Next, we're going to be getting into Draconids, or Dragon, essentially Dragons. Uh, I like these the most. I always rocked a Dragon and one for pretty much most of the game time I've put in. Uh, you're going to get two. Uh, Warin, Virin, whatever now, how you pronounce it. There's going to be a Royal one and a regular one. The Royal one looked a lot cooler, but of course, they both make in the same trophy, unfortunately. Wyrin, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I thought they were cool looking. And of course, this is my favorite. This is the one I rocked the most and probably will rock for the remainder of the game. It's the fork tail there. And I just like the look of it. It's got a nice little there. Clean cut. Spike on the head. Or not spike, a blade. I just like the look of them a lot. Yeah. Fork tail. Next up, we got the Vampires, which there's only two of them. There's the Ekimaru one there, and it was a shame about these ones, because I believe it's the Ekimaru one. That one actually had a bunch of, like, jewelry on them, and, of course, the jewelry doesn't stay on them when you take the head. And uh, the Vampires in this game are some ugly mofos. And the only other one is the Katakon. Katakon? I, I'm I'm butchered probably so many names in this video at this point. There's some subtle differences, and again, you know, just in general, an ugly motherfucker. On to the last bit, which I've just dubbed pretty much everything else. We have Lushen Trophy there, and you get two Lushen Trophies. You get a Chort and you get a Fiend. These are some of the more unique looking ones, I'd say. It's a bit unfortunate, though, because when you fight the enemy, they... I believe all these enemies have horns, and as you can see there with that, they have, they're they missing half the horn each time. It's kind of a shame. Got the short there. Yep. 
It's in uh, part of his face. And this is to reinforce the point. I clicked on the Lushen again. Which I'll take the moment of the Lushen to apologize, because I know my phone went off in the last, the last part for vampires. I apologize for that. Now the quick apology is out of the way, we're on to the last one, which I have said before is the Fiend. And that pretty much does it for the video. As always, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun YouTube stuff. Twitter's down below if you want to follow for updates on this channel. And, again, this is most of the trophies, not all the trophies. There are times where you're given the option to spare the monster, and I did spare the monster a few times. And as always, you're welcome to come back over to Gaming House for more gameplay and commentary.